Hello everyone, welcome to Ikita platform and uh, this is Ravin Jagand here, your electrical faculty. In this video, I am going to talk about uh, the different fundamental related with the power semiconductor devices from where we have started initially uh, when we were using the HVDC transmission system. Okay, so we have started with the mercury thyristor walls and how we have started and in which year we have uh, started. Uh, how much was the rating of that uh, HVDC transmission? So one by one, I'm going to discuss about that. So it is all about the HVDC transmission system. Okay, now look at the, these points. If I talk about the first HVDC transmission, that was actually established in 1954, 1954 between the Swedish mainland and also the island of the Gotland that you have to remember. So uh, this was the Swedish mainland to island. The first initial, initially the HVDC transmission was built and the purpose of that transmission is to carry the high voltage value or high voltage power uh, underground. And or you can say in in, uh, in C. Okay. Now, if I talk about the voltage, so voltage rating was the hundred kilovolt. Okay, and the power rating was the twenty megawatt, and that is pretty much uh, increased nowadays. If I talk about nineteen seventy, so so till nineteen seventy, we were actually using the mercury arc walls for controlling purposes. Okay, so we had only this options left uh, at that time. So mercury arc walls we were using and that has the many disadvantages. So in the converter station, I can add that. If I talk about the thyristor wall, that thyristor wall that is the SCR, okay, silicon uh, control rectifier. In the thyristor walls, uh, thyristor walls actually replaced the mercury arc walls and the mercury arc walls has uh, some disadvantages related with the controllability. Uh, so, so thyristor walls has replaced them. Thyristor walls have replaced the mercury arc walls in the HVDC converters. If I talk about the thyristor, this thyristor that is the SCR actually has the, if I talk about nowadays, then largest rating related with the thyristor is 5 kilo volt. What? 5 kilo volt and uh, related with the uh, current that is 3000 ampere. I can write 3 kilo ampere okay the highest transmission voltage highest transmission voltage now it is has been reached plus minus 800 kilo volt okay so this is the rating of the power electronic devices were developed later and which are LAC, LASCR, GTO and the IGBT what is GTO I have already discussed that is the gate turn off thyristor okay and that is insulated insulated gate bipolar transistor okay now we are moving for the next one among these igbt among uh, among i can write among these semiconductor devices semiconductor devices the igbt is actually used in the voltage source converter and we have discussed earlier in the voltage source converter that is the vsc it is written here and have become highly suitable for the hvdc applications if i talk about the hvdc transmission system then it is actually using the igbt chipsets so it is uh, written here Today, many HVDC transmission system, many HVDC transmission system is using the IGBT chipsets technology. Okay, due to the advantages uh, over the thyristor GTO. Okay, so we should also have knowledge of it. Uh, this point is actually going to say that uh, if we are, if we have to study about uh, the power HVDC transmission system and different uh, converter stations. So we should have the key knowledge of uh, the static dynamic and uh, the methods of triggering how we can trigger the power semiconductor devices, their connections, 
in it may be in type of series it may be a type of parallel so controllability of uh, the system can be enhanced and the power transfer capability can also be increased so i have uh, so uh, up to this i have i hope you have understood successfully so tata bye bye see you in next lecture